I'm sharing 10 fashion items that I think every petite should have in their wardrobe for summer of 2024. And these are my personal favorites just honestly all year round, but specifically work great the best for summer. And these are outfits where instantly look so chic, so stylish, very minimal effort while everything is still very balanced and these are items that i think look fabulous on every single petite so anyways let's go ahead and get started with the first one which is matching sets here so um you can either do this one of two ways have two separate pieces that are meant to go together then you kind of get more bang for your buck this way because you can wear them together or you can wear them separately if you want to but the whole point of it is that it's all one piece when you put it together but then you have the option of wearing it separately which obviously is great too and still can look very balanced great for a petite or you can even just buy things like rompers for example that is all one piece which are so fabulous because just throw on and go and just very minimal effort and look so chic rompers have been my go-to but something you should definitely consider if you don't have any in your wardrobe i'm going to link my favorite options down below for you guys next up is lighter delicate fabrics not only is this incredibly flattering if you have a petite build but it works for so many different body types being in the petite category maybe your rectangular shape maybe your apple shaped triangle inverted triangle so many different body shapes i know it can be such a challenge styling a petite body type but then you also have to count in for your unique individual shape but lighter delicate fabrics just really look great on everybody whether you want to cinch in your waist or leave it out and flowy it doesn't look bulky or frumpy very elegant and effortless and lighter fabrics again are lighter so great for summer for spring you can layer on top of them if you need to so it can be such a great base if you're going for something basic but since petites are shorter in height uh things can definitely look frumpy and bulky very quickly on us so summer and spring is a great time to stock up on lighter more delicate fabrics when I was first discovering my style and learning how to dress my body type better years ago I quickly learned that tailored fabrics are shockingly incredibly flattering for a petite build and this obviously it looks great on everybody something about just things that are structured polished and tailored look flattering on everybody they just hit you in the right places but especially for petites because again it doesn't look frumpy bulky oversized it's tailored to your body shape and size and you know it's supposed to be fit in the shoulders the sleeve length the pants the rise everything and you can get these pieces in casual options and more dressy options i mean the options are truly endless. Even if maybe this isn't generally your style, like structured, tailored, and polished pieces, um, you can still incorporate tailored pieces that reflect your personal style. Now, when we're talking about bottoms, I clearly can't wear any right now, really. So <laughs> I've noticed that staying away from the baggy, oversized, Gen Z type of jeans bottoms is definitely can do a pass being petite because it's just again bulky frumpy oversized uh, these styles are meant to be really long and really loose and if you put that on a short person it doesn't really give us that effortless cool girl vibe look as it does for somebody that's taller uh, for us it actually just makes it look like it's way too big for us maybe go for straight leg wide leg bottoms that are structured tailored polished um i would offer maybe something with minimal to no distressing straight leg is great that's one of my favorites wide leg is also great i've been leaning more into that lately too and specifically for summer go for the lighter more delicate fabrics that flow and move so effortlessly a lot of petites we think well you know wide leg is a little too wide probably too frumpy and oversized it can be if the fabric is really thick and bulky, but if you go for a little bit more delicate and lighter fabrics, you're essentially creating the same silhouette as like a midi maxi skirt or even dress if you pair the same color on top, but they're pants. So generally you're creating the same silhouette, but you know, with pants. So petites can definitely pull it off. Just make sure it fits well around the waist, around the hips beautiful flowy leg make sure the inseam is a good inseam for you then if you're opting for something like jeans like wide leg jeans just make sure they're structured and have very clean lines and avoid 
um, a lot of bagging and scrunching around the ankles. A-line fit skirts and dresses. I definitely do not think this is an outdated style. There's just a lot of outdated styles like this. And then there's a lot more up-to-date styles like this, which is what I would opt for. Um, so feminine, so flattering. And I mean, it just like slightly cinches in at the waist, flares out a little bit, especially if you have more of an athletic build body type like I do, where I'm just very rectangular, big breasts. This creates an illusion of more of like an hourglass silhouette, which is so feminine and so pretty. I also love A-line fit shorts as well. I'll link my favorites down below. I wore this so much last year. And it's just really flattering, especially if you have an athletic build. As a petite, it just makes your legs appear a little bit longer, a little bit slimmer, um, especially if it's looser around the thighs. I try to recreate this not just with denim shorts, but with rompers at the same time. I generally don't like anything hugging my thighs unless I'm wearing full length denim jeans. Next one is longer hemlines, whether it is an outerwear piece, which generally we're not wearing in the summertime, clearly, but either that or a dress, a skirt as well. And I especially love when I'm wearing like a midi or maxi dress. I don't have it in every single piece. It's hard to find in every single piece, but if the dress comes with a side slit and it's a midi maxi length, like huge bonus because not only is the one long visual line so freaking flattering, but you're exposing a little bit more skin in your leg, which is just like the cherry on top, the perfect petite combination right there. So if you find a midi maxi dress that you are head over heels for, it has a side slit, jump on it uh, because it's just one of the prettiest maxi styles that petites can wear. Then along with that, shorter hemlines. Now, when it comes to shorter hemlines, so today I'm wearing one. Uh, this dress is so fun, I have to say. Uh, I got this from Revolve, I'll link it below. It's not a maternity piece, but it has hints of pink and blue in it, which, you know, I'm having a baby and we don't know the gender. I'm 33 weeks, we plan to find out at birth. So I was like, ooh, I'm so excited to wear this for our little baby, well, I guess baby sprinkle or baby celebration. This is dress I'm planning on wearing. But anyways, mini hemlines. I would opt for mini hemlines that are around mid thigh. Avoid anything that is a little too close to your knee length. Even if you're a petite with longer legs, still not enough leg exposure to look balanced. I really think petites look the prettiest in mini hemlines that hit at mid thigh. That's like about, it's like a little bit longer than fingertip length, at least for me. <laughs> a good option where it's not too short but then not too long so that way you're not taking away length from your legs open toe sandals heels such a fabulous option for petites now i'm not excluding close toe i love those like my chanel inspired two-tone flats like obsessed wear them to death but in the summertime wonderful pulling out our open toe sandals because even exposing a little bit of skin on your feet down there makes a huge difference, especially when you're wearing midi maxi dresses and having your toes exposed, like open-toed shoes, look way more balanced. Because if you wear like a midi maxi dress that has closed toe, a little bit too much coverage, need a little bit more skin exposure to look, make it look just, just that much better. Like it doesn't look bad, but for it to look even better, up for like an open toe sandal, especially when you're wearing midi maxi length. The items that have dainty, minimal straps are Fabulous if you're petite. Now I'm talking about like dresses with those little cami straps, tops with those little cami straps, shoes where they have those very minimal straps to them. Again, looks very balanced. You're exposing a lot more skin, which is so flattering if you're short. Like I have this dress that I got from Mango that has those cami straps and it's a very simple flowy black dress. It's kind of one of those dresses you can throw on over a swimsuit and hang out at the pool in, or you can um, dress it up a little bit, go out in it. But just those little dainty straps look so pretty and so feminine, but I still have good coverage, but still exposing enough skin where it just looks so flattering being petite. So anyways, definitely keep in mind of like the strappy shoes, the camis as well. Those are just not only great if you're petite again, but for summertime, Huge win because it's very hot typically. Dainty minimal jewelry, whether it's necklaces, bracelets, earrings. This obviously is just cherry on top. You wear very petite, friendly, flattering, gorgeous outfit. Throw on some minimal dainty jewelry. Is it too bulky, frumpy, oversized? And not only that, it looks more classy and timeless at the same time. It's something that will look good forever versus something that'll look good 
for just the season or for the year and then next year it's like eh. I think it's fun to experiment and have fun with jewelry like maybe going for some really cool fun earrings I think that's fine too but at least as far as like bracelets and necklaces go I would say opt for the minimal dainty ones are less distracting more flattering especially if you're wearing stuff that's with an open neckline you don't want to have like really thick and tons of layers going on around your neckline you want to keep it very minimal and polished and try to expose that neckline and shoulders and that brings it to the end of this video hopefully you guys found this video helpful give it a big thumbs up if you want to see a part two to this for fall and winter version and then i want to send you guys over to this video which is 20 best-selling petite fashion items that i've shared on my youtube channel from january to june items that my subscribers and viewers purchase so top 20 items that are petite friendly so stylish and just best selling so i'll see you over on this video bye